I got a habit of doing my water bottles like this now after I finish them. I need some snacks for later on in case I get a little, in case I want a little crunch and munch action. I don't know. Let me not, let me not say it like that because that just don't sound too swell. Let me see. Okay, good. I'm charging my phone over now. Um... Let me turn this phone off before that alarm go. Be going off 10 minutes before I have to get up. I don't know, you guys. I've been, um, first of all, I want to say, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> what's up, everybody? It is Roche Ball, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, you guys. And as everybody know, I stay rolling my eyes. So, I am going to be telling you guys just a quick video real quick. This may be a mukbang slash talking video. Um, because there are some things that I want to cover on tonight. I used to hate when my teacher used to say that. If anybody out there went to Wilson High School in Long Beach, um, well, I didn't start school until 11 a.m. And I only went to two classes. And then I went over to what they call the C-section. Um, where, oh, my back be itching in the most stupidest places. Um, and I went to Wilson and my sister and I didn't have to start school until like 11 a.m. So school started at 11 for us. And there was a teacher that I had there named Miss Fletcher, but she got married, I think, to a Hispanic man. So she knew a lot of Spanish and stuff like that. Oh, my gosh, whatever. Anyway, and I did not like being in that class. I think I passed that class with the C. I mean, I think B minus. I don't remember. My grades were never really good in high school. I didn't like school. I grew I don't like school. No Lagustos because it was boring. And um, we had her for history. And she used to talk about all the things that we're going to cover in today's lesson. But she used to say on tonight, which means when people say there's a lot of things we want to talk about on tonight. And I'm thinking about my whole, oh, it's going to be a long night. It's going to be the longest two hours of this class I've ever because we will spend an hour in the class then take a break and then go back and finish the last hour and I'm like oh I don't want to be here somebody help me I'm gonna go home already because I know my sister's cooking some fried chicken with some corns and butter and rice and I, I just want some okay so um I was very skeptical and I was kind of hesitant on doing the video I'm about to do right now for y'all. And that's pretty much venting. And I don't want to make it a pity party situation. But just to express to you guys that I don't think it's meant for me to be alone. I've tried being alone and I've tried, you know, not being so quick to find somebody and letting the Lord find my husband for me. But, um... I figure while he's finding my husband, let me at least kind of go out on a few dates and, you know, I'm not trying to move ahead of him. So, and like I said, I'm very, I'm going to be very honest with you guys. Um, it's been difficult for me to be alone. It's not going to kill me. It's nothing that's detrimental or nothing that, oh, I just won't survive without anybody. No, I, I have been surviving. 39 years strong I have been surviving for anybody who care about that sort of thing and knowing my history when it comes to dating I've had my first boyfriend at 19 lost my virginity at 21 to some to the people that I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life with and that the people all at once like I, I'm a I'm a very monogamous person it, it was hard for me to give this guy my number, this guy my number, this guy my number. Because out of all seven of you guys that I have exchanged numbers with, there's only one of y'all that I'm truly attracted to. 
and those be the ones that do not be attracted to me just as much as I'm attracted to them. It's always like that. So I decided, you know what? I'm tired of getting my heart broken. I'm tired of talking to these people online. I was going to say something else, but I'm trying to keep it clean. I don't want YouTube getting butt hurt. But, um, and I said, you know what? I'm tired of getting heartbroken. I'm tired of people pretending like they know what they want and they really want a relationship too. And, and I, and I went in, honestly, I went in expecting for a relationship when I was only supposed to be dating. And when you're dating, you're not supposed to expect relationship type of things. You know, you're going to kiss. Okay. You may, you know, mess around a little bit, okay, but just as long as you and whoever you're dating have that agreement that this is what it's going to be and that's it. With me, that didn't work because I, I keep wearing my heart on my face. Forget my sleeve. I wear my heart on my face. I know that's very stupid to say, but I wear my heart on my face. All right? And I don't think, Tiffany, you're just dating. You're just dating. Don't go in expecting anything. And I'd be like, oh, okay. But I always catch feelings. Always. That's why I said I wear my heart on my face. And the guys that I've dated be knowing it. And that's why they be skedaddling. Peace. Oh, yeah, I call you. Okay. No, you won't. But all right. And I can't blame nobody but myself. You know? And I try not to go into it pressuring people about being together but I still can't help but to think and ask in a different way, what are we? Or if I say, oh, this would be nice if we can do this again. And they're like, oh, okay. But they're not really, they're just considering it, but they're not really, okay, agreeing with it. Like, yeah, we can do this again. I've only went into one situation with this dude named QP who, um, and like I said, I don't usually call her naming names, but I'm a, I, let me just give him a nickname, QP. Okay. I went on here. I went on, um, the Facebook dating page and started dating this dude named QP. Okay. Um, and it was only casual and I, that's the first situation I've ever been in where I was like, okay, casual, I can do this. And you know why I was able to deal with it? With no feelings at first. Because I actually went into it telling myself, this is what it is. It's not going to be that yet. If we don't say nothing about being a, in a relationship with you, it ain't no relationship. Even if you want to be in it, be quiet. And the, another reason why I was able to deal with that casualty of that situation is because... It was consistent. He was telling me that he wanted to hang out with me again. And it was what it was. I didn't go in with any expectations of wanting him to be my boyfriend or nothing. I did think about it at the end when I feel like, okay, so is this all we're going to be doing when we see each other is having sex, having sex, and that's it. You know, because now I'm starting to want something more because it's about to be, a, you know, a little over a month. And I'm thinking, okay, so are we going to make it official? Are we going to actually go out on a date? But no, to him, it's still, it was what it was. So I guess eventually I end up, you know, being at fault for some of it because I just didn't want to keep just having this frivolous, loveless, meaningless sex with people without any kind of commitment, you know. If you totally agree with that person who only wants something casual, that's the only way it's going to work. But um, you also have to let that person know that they're not the only ones. Some guys don't like the fact that you're dating more than one person besides them. But they can do it. And it's fine. I can't ask no questions about who that girl was that was on your phone. Whether I plan to do something about it or not. For me, I always try to shut the fuck up. And I'm thinking, okay, so that's the way we roll. All right. I mean, not like that. I never had the attitude of, okay, so that's what it is. That's what we're doing. No, but it's more like I would get sad because nothing more would come out of it. 
And that's what just I that's what I have to expect when dating online. Nobody's serious. They claim to be. They will put that on their profile that oh I want a long term relationship. No, you don't. Stop telling. Stop putting things on your profile. And this is for ladies and gentlemen. Some of y'all who are still on dating websites, if you know you don't want nothing from that man that's serious, and if you know you don't want nothing from that woman that's serious, don't pretend to want something just to get them where you want them. And after that, that's it. When they're expecting for you to have want something more, because that's what you put on your profile. Like I take people very literally. And maybe that's my mistake, but at the same time is don't put something on your profile and your preferences on your profile. But then when you meet me, it's something totally different. I mean, and this is after we exchange numbers, we video chat. I show you pictures of how I look right now at this moment so you can know what you're getting yourself into. Ain't no catfish over here or red snapper. I'm just letting you guys know. Catfish ain't the only fish in the sea. There's fish bigger than catfish in the sea, but you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't, that catfish stuff is, is real. It really is. But I've had luck and I don't want to call it luck, but I've had a chance to experience not being catfished. But there was a time I, I did a video about it. It's called the Valentine's Day Massacre or something like that. To where I went on a date with this guy who... He was looking so good on his pictures on POF. He was buff. He had dark shades on. And he was like, yeah, look, that's how I looked in, in, in my high school pictures. Like after college and stuff. But then when I actually met up with him, he looked like Newman from Seinfeld. So I was like, you know what? He already here. Oh, let me go out on this date with him. And anybody who takes pictures like this, all you can see is their neck and that's it. And if they're afraid to take pictures like this, then that's to me a red flag before you even start a conversation. You know, I'm not afraid to take pictures of my stomach. I'm not afraid to take pictures of all of that. Even how beady I look right now, I'm like, so you can know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah, those pictures are real cute. And them pictures were recently. Most of those pictures that I took, that's on my profile. was a, but, but if any picture on there is from like five years ago. Mm -mm. And I'm not a, a dating website guru. But I've been on it since 2012. On and off. And I say off because at the time I was either in a relationship or I just freaking gave up and said, you know what, let me just try to see if I can meet somebody offline. That's for real. And what's the difference? I have more luck with talking to people online than I do offline. And after being off the dating websites for, uh, I know for sure, two months and maybe a week or so, and a sprinkle full of days, I'm starting to notice that, okay, I, I want to get back out there and start dating. But I said dating, which means I have to see it for what it is. I can't go in there expecting a relationship. Like if I was to make a dating profile, I wouldn't put long-term relationship. I'll put mm, dating, chatting, friendship. Just to see where it's going to go. But I can't go in expecting lifetime expectations for people who are only capable of giving me seasonal stuff. You know? So, I was supposed to be eating on here, but I, I'd rather not. Because I don't be like, hey, wait, hold on. <clears throat> and I was like, I don't, mm, I'm going I'm to probably pick that for another video. But um, I just want to come on here and just to come on here and vent a little bit about dating and dating websites and I know in the past I had to I got off of it recently this year in March and I've been off of it for the whole month of March no no I've been off of it for the last couple of days it was like a week or a couple of days in March the whole month of April and May and the first week of June and I decided um okay I want to 
hear from God and I want to, I want God to write my love story and I want God to find my man for me and all these other kind of things. And I, I feel like, oh, I don't, I don't know. Lord, I want it to be touched. I want it to be held. I want to be loved on. I, I want to hold somebody's hand. I want to play around with somebody, be goofy with somebody, have a little food fight with somebody, you know, be silly with somebody, you know, look into somebody's eyes. You know, I, you know, I just, um, So, I feel like until my husband comes, I want to date. I don't know if that works that way. And, um, and I'm not going to expect God to bless this person that I'm dating to be my husband. Because I'm not going to go in expecting some good stuff online. Mm -mm. But I do want to get back out there and start dating. I feel why not? I feel it's more than, you know, I feel like, you know. I just choose to want to start dating again. But this time I have to go into it with the mindset of, ain't nobody on here serious and ain't nobody on here going to be your husband. So stop. And this is not me speaking anything negative to my universe. Some people don't want nothing but just to have sex with you online. And I've noticed that for, ugh, all the years I've been online. So I don't really don't know what to call this video. It's probably going to be dating rant. I don't know. But um, I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys things that have been on my mind since almost 11, almost 12 p.m. today when I was at work just thinking like oh and stop getting all inspired and all happy when I and I have to stop getting all happy and expired I mean, and I mean, excuse me and inspired when I hear people's love stories on YouTube like how they met their wives and their husbands because that's their story that's not mine and that may be how it worked out for them but that may not be my story um Waiting is so hard and being patient is harder, but that's okay. Um, but that's it, you guys. I just wanted to express that a little bit before I start eating and, and unwinding and, you know. That's pretty much it, y'all. I don't really have anything else to say. I just wanted to come on here and just let all of that out because it almost frustrated me today. I almost cried at work today thinking about it and like, you know what? I do want love and it's taking a little bit longer for me to, you know, get that from my the man that I dreamed about. So let me go ahead and just, you know, date, but not date like I've been dating before to where I was always on that dating website to see who messaged me, to see who can I respond to, to see who can I, oh my gosh. And I haven't been putting enough time in with my relationship with God. I have not been putting enough time in with my relationship with me. And I have not been putting enough time in with just plain letting God do it, you know, because I was always afraid that I'm not going to get it. So I feel like, let me do it myself. I get very hasty and impatient and I tend to take matters into my own hands, especially when it comes to the men department. Like, where's my husband? But I don't know. So I hope everybody liked this video. I try not to be too chatterboxy and giving you guys all that and um i hope to see you guys soon in the next video no y'all see me in the next video um <laughs> i'm gonna eat and watch sisters all right you guys like i always say please pray for me i will pray for y'all and we're gonna pray for each other okay see you on the next one